You now don't have to reboot your Chromebook just to use a Linux app that's misbehaving because you have GPU acceleration turned on. You can temporarily disable GPU acceleration right from a terminal window. Let me show you how. Hi everyone. Google is constantly updating and improving the Linux experience on Chrome OS. One of the most important updates to Chrome OS was when Google enabled GPU acceleration. This greatly improved performance for graphics intensive applications, but the support is still buggy. A time that I encountered its bugginess was a couple of months ago when I tried running the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation and all of a sudden it would load up and just show me a black screen. It turns out that a Chrome OS update caused GPU acceleration issues with some applications. So the only way to run Reaper at that time was to disable GPU acceleration and restart my Chromebook. When I needed GPU acceleration again, I had to re-enable it and restart my Chromebook all over again. This can get pretty annoying if you run multiple applications. The issue with Reaper was eventually fixed, but recently I started testing out video editors on Chromebooks for a future video I'm working on and experienced GPU acceleration issues again. So I went through the annoying problem of disabling GPU acceleration and restarting, and then re-enabling it and restarting again. But while researching GPU acceleration, I came across this Reddit post that showed me how to disable GPU acceleration within a terminal window. No restart required. I was floored to find the solution. This will save me a lot of time. Anyway, let me show you exactly how to do this. First, you want to open up a terminal window. Then, just type this simple command. Export space libgl underscore always underscore software equals one. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Understand that this will only disable GPU acceleration for applications that you run through this terminal window. GPU acceleration will still be enabled when you go to the app launcher and run a Linux program or from other terminal windows where you didn't type the command into. So the downside to this is that you need to know the keyword that runs the application you want from a terminal window because this won't work from the app launcher. So now let me show you an example of the bugginess I experienced with an application that has GPU acceleration enabled. I'll open up another terminal window. I'll run the command on the top terminal window to disable GPU acceleration there. And I won't run the command on the bottom terminal window. That one is going to have GPU acceleration on. The app I'm going to test is the Kden Live Video Editor. Now let me first show you what happens when I run the application with GPU acceleration on. I'll type by the command to run Kden Live on the bottom terminal. And now I have Kden Live loaded. I'll load up my project. And you can see the video preview window is black and sometimes an image flickers in. That should not happen. Now see what happens when I play back the project. You can see even more flickering. Ignore the stuttering performance. I have a low power Chromebook and it will not give me smooth performance with video editing applications. The flickering is a GPU acceleration issue here. Now I'll exit the application and then run Kden Live from the terminal window that has GPU acceleration disabled, which is the top one where you see the command. Kden Live is now loaded, so I'll open up my project again. And it's loaded, and you can see that the video preview window is not blacked out like it was with GPU acceleration on. You see the current frame that's selected in the project. Now let's play back the project and there's no more flickering. Again, ignore the stuttering. My Chromebook is not powerful enough for video editing. Anyway, before I knew of this command, I will have to restart my Chromebook just to use this application. Now, I can just do what I showed here. Anyway, I hope you also find this command useful. In the future, I would like Google to add a feature to Linux where you can enable options like this command for each Linux application you have installed but I can live with how it's implemented now. I would also like to thank Reddit user Magic underscore 68. He was the one that posted this solution on the Crostini subreddit. If you want to learn more about Linux on Chrome OS, that subreddit is a great resource. I'll provide a link in the description. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please give it a like.
And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.